everybody. This is Kay from A Cup of Crochet, and today I'm going to show you how to make my Henry the Hippo pattern. The materials you are going to need for this is a J-hook, scissors, a darning needle, two 10 millimeter safety eyes, stuffing, and two of the super bulky recycled silk yarn. I have mine in the color Mermaid Splish Splash. We're going to start by winding our yarn into either a ball or a cake. I already have one of them wound up. So give me a minute and I will wind this one up and we can get started. Alright, so once we have our yarn all wound up, we can start crocheting the body of our hippo. To begin crocheting the body of our hippo, we're going to start with a magic circle. If you do not know how to start with a magic circle, then go ahead and chain two and then work into the first chain. All right, so we have our magic circle, and now we're gonna single crochet eight into the center. If you're working with the chains, single crochet eight into the first chain. For the next round, we are going to do a single crochet increase in each of the eight stitches for a total of 16 stitches at the end of this round. So going directly into that first single crochet, we're going to work two single crochets. One, and then going back into the same stitch, two. Going to the next stitch, one, and into the same stitch, two. We're going to repeat this all the way around until we get to the last single crochet. So for the next round, we're going to continue on with our increases. So we'll do an increase in the first stitch. So we'll single crochet and then single crochet into the same space. And then in the next space, we're only going to do one single crochet. And then in the next one, we will increase. So do two single crochets into that same space. And then in the next one, only one single crochet. For a total of 24 single crochets all the way around. So repeat that pattern until you have 24 single crochets. And meet me back here when you're done. All right, so when we get to the last one, we're going to continue again with the increases. So this time we will do an increase. So single crochet, two into that one space. And then in the next two spaces, we will just be single crocheting one. So the next one, single crochet one. And then in the next one, single crochet one and then another increase. Repeat this all the way around again until you have a total of 32 stitches and meet me back. All right, when we make it all the way around, now we're gonna start single crocheting up. So for the next two rounds, we are just going to single crochet one in each stitch for a total of 32 stitches all the way around. So just single crochet in each stitch for two rounds and meet me back here when you are done. Alright, so when we finish that round, you're going to notice that you're getting the cup shape going. So now we're going to start decreasing. For this round, we're going to start like we're going to do a single crochet, but instead of completing it, we're going to go into the next stitch pull up another loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on our hook. And that's how we decrease. And then we're going to go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. And in the next stitch, do a single crochet. And we're going to do another decrease. So go through the stitch, 
yarn over and pull your loop up, go on the next stitch, yarn over and pull up another loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops, and then two single crochets. So continue that pattern all the way around until you have 24 stitches and meet me back here when you're done. Alright, so when we make it all the way around, now you can see that we're really starting to get that cup shape. It's starting to go in. That's good. So for the next round, we're going to single crochet one in each stitch for a total of 24 stitches. Alright, when we make it all the way around that round, we are going to continue with the same thing, doing one single crochet in each stitch for a total of 24 stitches for the next round. Alright, when we finish that round, you really start to see the shape of the hippo body starting to form. This is going to be his butt and his waist here. So for the next round, we're going to do another round of decreases. So we're going to do a decrease in the first two. And then single crochet one into the next. And then decrease again into the next two. And then single crochet one. You'll have a total of 16 stitches when you get all the way around. So keep going with that and meet me back when you're done. Alright, so when we make it all the way around, now we're going to continue crocheting up. For the next two rounds, we will single crochet one into each stitch for a total of 16 stitches in each round. So crochet one in each stitch around for two rounds and meet me back here when you are done. Alright, once you finish your two rounds of single crochets, we're going to remove our hook to make the next step easier and now we're going to start stuffing. So taking your polyfill, we're just going to put it in there. Make sure we stuff them quite firmly, but not too firm to where you start seeing the stuffing poking through. You definitely don't want to see the stuffing through the stitches, but you want them to be quite dense. So once you have your body nice and stuffed, we're going to continue with the last round, and it's going to be a single crochet decreases all the way around. So you're going to end with 8 stitches for this round. So we're just going to decrease in the first 2 stitches. And then decrease in the next 2 stitches. Repeat this all the way around until you have 8 stitches. And then we can finish this body off. Alright, so after we do our last decrease... We're going to finish off by slip stitching into the next stitch, like so. Pull up our loop, take our scissors, cut a long enough tail so we can sew our hole closed. Pull that through. And now we're going to take our polyfill again and finish stuffing the body if it needs to be stuffed more. Alright, so once you have your body all nice and stuffed firmly, we can close this hole up, taking our needle. I'm going to thread it with our yarn. We're going to skip the one that we slip stitched into. We're going to go into the next one, being careful not to go through the stuffing. Go in through that one, and then out through the next one. In through the next one. out through the next one. Kind of pull in as we go. 
in through the next one, out through the next one, and then in through that slip stitch. Now pull it tight. If you'd like, you can tie a knot to make sure that it's secure. If not, I find that just weaving your end in a few times, a few different directions, is plenty enough to keep it secure. Now we can cut our end short. And that's our hippo body. Now we can move on to the hippo head. So to begin crocheting our hippo head, we're going to do a magic circle again. If you don't know how to do the magic circle, you can single crochet two and work your starting stitches into the first chain. So to begin, we're going to do eight single crochets into the magic circle or into the first chain. Once we have our eight stitches, we can pull our ring closed. For the next round, we're going to single crochet increase in each stitch around. So working into the first one, we're going to single crochet and single crochet into the same space. Repeat that all the way around until you have a total of 16 stitches. Alright, so for the next round, we're going to continue with our increases. So we'll do an increase in the first stitch. So single crochet, and then single crochet in the same space. And then the next stitch, we'll just single crochet one. And then in the next one, we'll do another increase. Crochet two in that one space and then single crochet one. Repeat that all the way around until you have a total of 24 stitches and then meet me back here. Alright, so once we made it all the way around, now we can start crocheting up. For the next three rounds, we will just crochet one in each space for a total of 24 stitches around. So single crochet one in each space around for the next three rounds and then meet me back here when you are done. Alright, when we're finished with those three rounds, we can see we got a nice cup going for our snout. Now we're going to start with our decreases. So we're going to decrease in those first two stitches and then single crochet into the next space. Do another decrease. And single crochet in the next space. You'll have 16 stitches at the end of this round. So keep going and then meet me back here when you're finished. All right, so for the next two rounds, we're gonna crochet up. So single crochet one in each space all the way around for 16 single crochets in each round. So do that for the next two rounds and then meet me back here when you are finished. Alright, so when we finish those two rounds we're going to take our hook out and we're going to start stuffing and inserting our safety eyes. For me it's easier to do my safety eyes first so we have the row we just did and the row below that. We're going to go in between these two spaces or two rows and insert one of our safety eyes. Going over two or three spaces wherever looks best for your hippo. We're going to insert our other eye. When we have our eyes in place, 
We're going to take our backing and snap them on to hold our eyes into place. Once you have your safety eyes secured, now we can start stuffing the head. You're going to take some of our polyfill and firmly stuff the head. Again, we want them to be dense, but we don't want them to be so full that you can see the stuffing through the stitches. All right, so once we have them stuffed up, we can go ahead and continue on crocheting. For the next round, we're going to do some decreases. So we're going to decrease the first two stitches, decrease the next two stitches. We're just going to do that all the way around. And you'll finish off this round with eight stitches total. So keep doing your decreases and meet me back here when you are finished. Alright, so when you finish the last decrease, we're going to finish off by doing a slip stitch, pulling up a loop, cut a long enough tail so we can sew our hole closed, and pull that through. Using our polyfill, we're going to continue to stuff the head to make sure that it's firm, just like the body. All right, so once we have our head good and stuffed, we're gonna use our needle and sew the hole closed like we did on the body. All right, so now that we have our hippo head all nice and filled and sewed up, we can move on to crocheting the hippo legs. So to begin crocheting your hippo legs, you're gonna start with a magic ring. If you don't know how to do the magic ring, you can chain two and work into the first chain. Again, we're going to start with eight single crochets. For the next round, we're going to single crochet increase in each stitch. Working into that first stitch, single crochet. And working into the same stitch, another single crochet. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 16 stitches. Alright, so when we finish that round, now for the next three rounds, we're going to single crochet one in each space for a total of 16 stitches in each round. So go ahead and do the next three rounds and meet me back here when you are finished. All right, so when we finish those three rounds, we can finish this off by doing a slip stitch into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. We want to cut a long tail so we can sew this onto the body later. Pull that through. Now we want to repeat those steps to make another back leg and then meet me back here so I can talk you through the steps of creating the front legs. So now that our two back legs are done, we can work on our two front legs. To start with the front legs, we're going to do a magic ring. Again, if you can't do the magic ring, you can chain two and work into the first chain. So we're going to start with eight single crochets for our first round. When we have our ring closed, we can continue on with the next round. We're going to start with an increase, so single crochet, two single crochets into the first stitch. And then single crochet one into the next stitch single crochet increase into the next stitch and then single crochet one in the next. Repeat this all the way around until you have a total of 12 stitches and then meet me back here when you're done. Alright, so for the next four rounds we're just going to single crochet around for a total of 12 stitches each round. So go ahead 
and single crochet one in each stitch around for the next four rounds and then meet me back here when you are done. All right, so when we finish those rounds, we're gonna go ahead and finish this off with a slip stitch, pull up a loop, cut a long tail to sew this onto the body later. And then we're gonna repeat those steps one more time for the other front leg. And then we can work on sewing everything onto the body and getting the details added and finishing up our hippo. So before we start sewing our hippo together, we gotta make him some ears. Again, this is gonna start with a magic ring, but if you can't do the magic ring, chain two and work into the first chain. This time we're gonna start with five single crochets. To start the next round, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna turn our work. In the first stitch, we're gonna do a single crochet. In the next stitch, we're gonna do a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then we're gonna do a double crochet increase in the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You're gonna do that again into the same stitch. And then into the next stitch, you're gonna do a half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops and then single crochet into the last stitch. Chain one to finish off. Leave a long tail to sew on to the head later. And now you have your little hippo ear. Repeat these steps for the other ear, and then meet me back here so we can start assembling our hippo. So to be able to sew our hippo together, we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need our needle, scissors, some yarn, stuffing, and our hippo pieces. I like to sew my hippos together this way because I feel like when you sew them together this way, they don't sit lopsided. You can sew them in any order you want, legs first, head first, but for me personally, doing it this way makes it stand flat. So first we want to thread our needle with some yarn. Then we want to sew the back of the head behind the eyes to the top of the body where we finished off here. So start by going into the top of the body there. Make sure you leave a little tail so you can tie off when you have everything secured. And then make sure we have the head lined up so the eyes are straight. And then go directly into the back of the head where it lines up and out of the next stitch. And then go back into the body. And then back into the head. Opposite side. We're just going to keep doing that until we have our head good and secure onto our hippo's body. 
right, so once we have sewn all the way around, we have our head good and secure, we can go ahead and tie our knot and then sew in our ends. So once we have our head all secure and our ends tied off, we can work on sewing on the ears. To sew on the ears, we want to start by taking our pieces here and folding them in half to create a cute little hippo ear shape. Thread your needle with the tail that we finished off with, not the starting tail. And immediately start by going into the opposite stitch just to keep that fold secure. Now we can grab our hippo and place our ear behind the eye off to the side a little bit. You don't want it sitting right on top of their head. That's not where hippo's ears are. They're a little bit off to the side. Start by inserting your needle into your stitch. Then go through both sides of the ear and the back stitches. Go back through another stitch. And then through the back of the ear to secure it. Now we can take the end that we were sewing with and tie it to the beginning end of our ear and then sew in our ends. All right, and then once we have our ends sewn in, we can repeat those same steps for the other ear. Do that and then meet me back here. All right, so once we have both your hippo's ears sewn on, we can move on to sewing on his legs. First, we're gonna start with the front legs. The front legs are the skinnier ones and the back legs are the fat ones. We gotta stuff them up with some polyfill. We wanna sew our legs onto the body, directly behind the head, and then off to the side a little bit so we have room for both of them here. So keep that in mind when placing your legs that you have to have room for the other leg. Gonna thread our needle with our tail and sew our leg onto the body. All right, so once you have your first front leg sewn onto place, we can sew on the second one. Again, we want to stuff it with some stuffing, thread our needle with the tail, and do the same thing that we did with the first front leg. Place it directly behind the head, off to the side, and sew it into place. So do that, meet me back here when we're done, so we can work on the back legs. All right, so once we have both the front legs sewn on, you can see when we set him down that he's nice and even. Both of his legs are on both sides of his body evenly. His head's sitting right, so now we can work on sewing on the back legs. Sewing on the back legs is the same idea as sewing on the front legs. We're gonna use our stuffing Stuff our back legs up, thread our needle. We're going to be placing the back legs behind the front legs, but off to the side again because these are a little wider and we want them to be able to fit. So keep that in mind when you're placing them and sewing them on where you're going to have the other one. And then do the same thing we did for the front legs. Sew it onto the body. And then meet me back here when you get both your legs sewn on. 
and then we can start working on the details. Alright, so after you have all four of your hippo's legs sewn on, you can set him down on a flat surface. You can see that he's nice and even. Now we can work on adding some details. The details we'll be adding are some nostrils and a tail. So you will need three pieces of yarn, two pieces about a foot long, and one piece about six inches to eight inches long. Start by threading your needle with one of the 12 inch long pieces. And we are gonna create the hippo nostrils. Going down from the side of the ear to the front of the face, wherever you think your hippo's nose would look best. You wanna just sew around one of your stitches. So going in and out, wrapping your yarn around one of the stitches uh, about three or four times. Then I'm going to tie my two ends together. And sew in my ends. And then we'll repeat those same steps for the other nostril. Alright, so once we have both of our hippo's nostrils sewn on, the last step is going to be to attach its tail. So to do the tail, we want to start like we're going to crochet. So. We're going to create our loop, put it onto our hook, grab our hippo, and the first row of our hippo is where we want to put the tail. So make sure we're lining it up evenly, and we're going to go in there. Try your best not to pick up the stuffing, but it's okay if you do. You can pull any extras hanging out off, and we're going to bring that through and slip stitch it. And when we have our slip stitch, we can just chain down the rest of the yarn, or however many chains you'd like your tail to be. Once you have your tail as long as you'd like it, you just pull that through. Cut your end short. I like to leave a little bit on the end because they have a little hair on their tail, so we can kind of fluff that out. Make it a little cuter. And we're going to take our needle and we're going to sew in this first end. Once you have your tail secure, your hippo is ready to be photographed and cuddled and adored and sold and whatever you'd like to do with them. So I hope you all enjoyed my pattern for my Henry the Hippo. Thank you to Darn Good Yarn for this opportunity to create this tutorial and pattern for everybody. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me and tag me on social media so I can see your beautiful hippos. And I hope you all have a wonderfully crafty day. Until next time, see ya!